shock absorber removal and installation. Reminder. Prior to this stage of operation, the aircraft must be jacked up to a sufficient level to permit free removal of the bogey beam and the shock absorber. Securities are installed and relevant safety precautions observed. Shock absorber is secured in position with the compressing tool. Let's start with bogey beam removal. In order to accomplish this, remove the electrical harnesses located on the articulated links. Disconnect the hydraulic coupling. Caution. During this operation, some fluid will spill from the orifice. Plug the orifice to avoid polluting the system. Disconnect the electrical harnesses located at the rear of the torque link. Remove the locking bolt of the articulated link lower joint. Unscrew the cross bolt using an appropriate tool and remove it. Unscrew the retaining nuts and remove the locking ring securing the bogey beam hinge pin. Install the specific tool on the bogey beam hinge pin. This tool is used to remove the torque of the hinge pin. Unscrew the bogey beam hinge pin nut and remove it. Remove the specific tool. Drive out the articulated link lower joint.
move the bogey beam to the horizontal position. Fit the thread protector onto the bogey beam hinge pin. Support the bogey beam in the cradle using a forklift truck. Secure the bogey beam. Drive out the bogey beam hinge pin using the appropriate tool and taking all precautions to avoid damage to the bush's shock strut and bogey beam. Lower the bogey beam using the forklift truck and move it to a safe area. Bogey beam removal is now completed.